Thanks for tuning in to the Red Pill Analytics YouTube channel, where you can choose to see data differently. My name is Stuart Bryson. I'm one of the owners and co-founders of Red Pill Analytics. I'm also an Oracle Ace Director in Business Intelligence and Data Integration. You can see the different social media platforms that you can follow me on. Be honored if you would do that. Thanks very much for that. Our subject today is Checkmate. Checkmate is a product that we've built in-house at Red Pill Analytics. It's a continuous integration and delivery framework. Well, what does that mean? It's a series of plugins. It's got a plugin architecture. And its purpose is to enable continuous integration and delivery or basic DevOps for products or platforms that don't normally fit into that mold. So we have the core plugin, the Checkmate plugin, which provides hooks, some basic functionality, as well as hooks for other plugins that are developed with sort of the product in mind. So in this case, Oracle Business Intelligence. And that's the, the main topic for, for the, this tutorial and, then, and the next several in this series. Yeah, I know that's a dense slide. So let's, uh, let's kind of dive into it a little bit. So over on the left, we see development workstations. That's going to be the main topic for today. Uh, you also see the Checkmate application out there beside it. Also in the middle, you see Git source control. So you can see these workstations are pushing content back and forth from, from source control. And then over on the far right or downstream, you see some of the server processes. So a continuous integration server, continuous, deliver, continuous integration and delivery server. You can see the Checkmate libraries there, which, which function inside of that server. And you can also see an Oracle Business Intelligence server instance. So, th so this side of the, of the house is where we, where we build BI artifacts, publish those artifacts. We also automatically test, so automated regression testing, and then automatic deploy automated deployments to, to one or more downstream environments. So that's a whole lot to bite off in one tutorial. So we're going to we're going to focus a little bit today on, on the development workstations and what that looks like. So basically the development process for BI developers. So those workstations are full stacks of OBIEE. They're installed on Windows and usually delivered by a virtualization, whether it be a, a cloud VM, an on-premises VM, uh, something of that matter. And that's the full stack of OBI running in that workstation. So it's not just the client tools for metadata development, it's the entire server running. And so we want to, I want to talk a little bit about why we at Red Pill Analytics believe that's the proper solution. The first thing is that if you're going to do metadata development, you have to be using, uh, regularly testing that against a BI server. So you don't know if any of your development is even working until a running online BI server parses it. So why not just develop using an online BI server inside your own isolated workstation? So you can see right away whether or not your new logical table, your new logical or physical join, a new hierarchy is functioning appropriately. You can't do hours of development without getting that feedback. It's just, it's not the proper way to do it. Additionally, it's, it's meaningful to get uh, data visualization right there at your fingertips while you're doing that development. So to know whether or not a federated logical table is working correctly, you need to visualize that data. And you can't wait for tw even 20 minutes or an hour to see whether or not that's working. You need immediate feedback. And Really, the last point is that depending on how your team is structured and how your, your development lifecycle is structured, what we found with a lot of our customers after they enable Checkmate is that they, they're able to do the metadata and analytics development right there together. And that's really powerful because what we see most BI customers doing 
is a, is a metadata layer development with a downstream catalog or presentation layer development. And if the metadata development wasn't correct right away, there's a feedback loop that just takes way too long. So we need to empower developers to do both the metadata and the analytics together. And that's possible inside of a standalone, isolated, full stack workstation of Oracle Business Intelligence. Now, the problem with that approach is that there's no good way, or at least easy way, to bring the content from those disparate workstations together, bring it back together again. So that's the, the role of source control, uh, specifically Git source control. So what you can see in the diagram is you can see the workstations pushing and pulling data back and forth from Git. Now that's a great concept or a great idea, but for anyone who's ever worked with Oracle Business Intelligence knows, there's no built-in way to do that. It's not very easy at all. Um, it's, you have to go way out of your way to try to enable functionality like that. And what we found working with customers for many, many years is that if it's cumbersome to, to get onto a development lifecycle that simply doesn't, isn't easy, um, they're never going to do it, or at least they're not going to do it willingly. And what we really want is you want your developers to be exci as excited about this process as perhaps IT or project managers are. So it has to be easy for the developer. And that's why part of the Checkmate solution is our Checkmate application. So this is an application that runs on Windows or Linux. It also runs on the Mac, however, because OBI won't install on the Mac. It's not as useful there. It can interact with a, with a, a workstation or a server that's running elsewhere from the Mac, but that's not really an ideal solution. So. Um, the primary focus of the application and, and for our tutorials in the series is to use the Checkmate application on Windows. Windows specifically because uh, the admin tool in Business Intelligence is still a Windows only application. Um, so primarily we're going to focus on seeing that app uh, work on Windows. So for this very first tutorial, uh, what I want to talk about is just a single workstation, onboarding that workstation, getting Git source control, getting the content into Git source control the first time, um, and how to sort of start your journey with Checkmate and source control in general. So with that, we'll jump into the demo and, and see how the Checkmate application works on Windows. So I'm on my Windows developer workstation. Uh, and I have an OBIEE 12C application served up. This application happens to be around brokerage information, so information around trades, around brokers, around securities, account activity, uh, trade customers, etc. So this is one of the dashboards that's uh, particularly around trade summaries information. And you can see here, this is our OBIEE metadata layer. Uh, I'm connected in online mode, so this is all running locally on my uh, developer workstation here, an isolated workstation environment. So you can see we have a, a single source and a, a reasonably standard data warehouse dimensional model. Metadata layers, uh, uh, or the, the semantic layer or the business model is a single business model, which is, is also relatively standard. We've got several subject areas to use for reporting against. So the, this represents a situation where you have an application served up into an OBIE server. You don't have that application yet in source control. And Checkmate can help us with that first step. So again, Checkmate runs on Linux, so this could be a Linux server as well. So the first thing we need to do is actually in, install Checkmate. I want to show you, you know, just how easy that is. So we'll run the executable here. It'll take just a few minutes to complete. Almost there. There we go. So this is the, the Checkmate application. And I'll tell you what. 
Not sure why that was there, but we'll start from scratch here. So the first thing I need to do is check out my Git repository. So my administrator has created me a nice, clean Git repository to use uh, for my BI application. So we'll clone that. There's the link to that. We'll check it out here locally in the administrator's home directory. And you can see all the information about it. So we'll clone it. It's empty, so it shouldn't take too much time. I say it's empty. It does have a git ignore file that I that I added to it. So now we should have a nice clean. There it is. Just the readme and just the git ignore file. So we'll let Checkmate do the rest. So I have to create a new project in Checkmate. And a project is really just a, a combination of a, of a location inside of a, a Git repository where you want to check in your data and an Oracle home. So it's going to facilitate the pushing and pulling of information from a Git repository back and forth from a developer workstation. The task we're going to do today in this tutorial is initially just to populate our Git repository. So it's one side of that, of that coin. So we'll go and browse to our to our Git repository. Um, and I'm going to create a couple of new folders. You can really use any directory structure you like uh, for managing your projects. We're going to create an OBIEE directory with a brokerage di directory inside of it. So you can see we've specified that as our source base. We need to go point to our Oracle Home. So that's where OBIEE is installed. So it's not evidently clear here, but there is also a way to configure a separate domain if you're using a more up-to-date architecture for 12C. You can go into a config file and specify a, a separate domain directory if you happen to have that installed outside of your, of your middleware home. But um, the, we have ours inside the middleware home, so that's going to be fine. You can see the different versions of Checkmate that we support. Uh, some of the distinctions between these versions is very, very minimal, but there are different API calls, etc., from one version to the next, and Checkmate is aware of those small distinctions. I actually have a 12.2.1.1 environment here, and then we also have the option of storing the metadata in one of three ways. We can use what's called the MDS XML, which is a directory of XML files that we'll go into Git. That's our standard and that's our preferred preference and what most of our customers use. But we can support a binary RPD if you're on some of the earlier versions of OBIEE, something before 11.1.1.9 or something before 12C. Uh, the metadata layer and a lot of the tools doesn't, doesn't work very quickly. And so for those customers, they may feel the need to use a binary RPD. However, if you're on 11.1.1.9 or anything in the 12C line, you know, MDS XML is going to be what you want to use. So there we go. We've got that project con configured. So that's the project window. This is the base window. So now you can see I have my brokerage project. I'm going to open that up. And I don't have any history here yet because we just created the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export uh, the content out of the workstation and put it into Git. So import is moving information from the Git repository into the workstation. Export is moving it in the opposite direction. We have a couple of other options here we'll get into one day. But at this point, we really just want to export it. So that creates a card I can use here for, um, for executing. Checkmate remembers credentials for a while. It doesn't remember them forever. So I have to plug in our credentials. We need to be able to talk to our local OBI workstation via the WebLogic user or whatever admin user you want to use. And then we also have to specify the repository password to be able to pull that down. And we'll continue. And we can see our execution card here. So you can create you can expand the Checkmate palette to be as long as you want. Keep as much of these cards, these history cards as we want. So you can see that we built 
sorry, we downloaded the catalog, we downloaded the metadata, we put it into the, the Git repository. And as you might expect, I have a bunch of uncommitted files now. So I have the entire directory structure for the catalog. I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the tree view. And we can see our OBIEE project. There it is, brokerage. Under source main, we have a catalog directory, and that's our everything in our catalog. We have a repository directory, and the MDS XML <laughs> directory structure is very deep. So uh, in there somewhere are some actual <laughs> XML files representing business models, connection pools, etc. So we want to stage all this, check all this in. And there it's staged. Uh, we're ready to commit it. So this is the initial commit of our brokerage project. Go ahead and push that to the server as well. And now Checkmate has taken our content out of our workstation, checked it into source control for us, and we're all good. And we can uh, go take a look. We see there's our OBI project. There's the source, the main, and there's all the information. So in the, this is the first step in, in getting your project on board with source control, with Checkmate, with continuous integration and DevOps. Look forward to, uh, to seeing you on some of the, the latter tutorials that, that we record here on the Red Pill Analytics YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.